Coffee Kevin here. I, I get occasional gifts of coffee. I like coffee, so I almost always enjoy the taste, and I always enjoy the thoughtfulness. Well, one of our viewers, Darren Addy, administrates and moderates the Fluid Bed Coffee Roasters Forum on Facebook. Let's digress for a bit while I get the brew started, and uh, which will spare me a lecture from Pat about making um, the intro, the body, uh, main body of the show. We're going to make a one liter batch, which is brilliantly labeled Optimum on this Brim coffee maker. My vote for the best brewer from a new player in 2019. And we'll grind 55 grams of the coffee using this Baratza grinder. Now last time for the Chemex, we used a setting of 22. The Brim automatic drip maker has a much more efficient flow uh, through uh, its filter. Hence, we're going to use a finer grind. Uh, I'm going to, uh, if you can get the close-up on that, Mike, so because I'm actually going to look at the uh, monitor to see what I'm setting it at. Okay, so we're going to back up. Oh, actually, I'm going the wrong, the wrong, the wrong backup. Okay. Okay, and then... Um... There we go. That looks like we're, we're there, right? Uh, maybe one notch that way. Nope. There we go. Okay. And uh, that will be good. And then let's... Uh, I've got to open this, and I do have a scissors. Believe it or not, you can go back to the white shop, Mike. Okay. And then... Uh, or, or Mac, whoever's doing it. And I can't believe they let me have these. But... They did. Okay, and then uh, I don't think we have a shot of this, so 55. There we go, 55. Okay, and then we're going to put this in here. And here we are on the uh, grinder, and you've got that grinder shot that you're ready to uh, get. Put that there and put these away. And I didn't even use the uh, the scoop. Okay, and then there we are. going to get a close-up a shot of the grinder mic where you go got that and I was going to show everyone there we are that's it all right there's there's what the grind should look like this time you can see it's a little clumpier a little clumpier together grind there we are all right and uh, you can see that is that is why uh, it slows down the grind or it slows down the brewing actually so okay 55 and uh, you always tamp it out there and then always do this always just shake it a little bit nothing major because you don't want to pack it you don't it's not like a when you're making an espresso and you you actually tamp I saw someone once tamping a, a drip maker uh, and uh, no you don't want to do that that's uh, overkill. Okay, and then, oh yes. All right, am I getting, uh, there we are. I want to make sure I don't overfill this optimum. I'm just where I can eyeball it. That's it. All right. 
press the button, and then I can continue where I left off. <sighs> Wine infused coffee. Is this, is this on, by the way? Yes, it is. <laughs> before I, I find out that it's happened to me before. Wine-infused coffee, what is it? I mean, is it flavored coffee? Well, now I've done it there. That word. I know a true coffee connoisseur doesn't touch such things as flavored coffee. I mean, right? Isn't the whole third-wave dogma about lightly roasted to remove as little origin as possible. Pure coffee taste, no condiments, no sweeteners, the whole bean and nothing but the bean. Who are we kidding? Ever been to a prestigious latte art competition? If you don't put sweeteners in your cup, what do you consume alongside it? What goes better, the donut or some other confection? How is it, uh, those of you that never touch sugar, only eating Baker's unsweetened chocolate? Well, part of any food's creativity is how it can be partnered as well as how it can be coupled. I've got a friend who infuses olive oils, and I've tasted some of his incredible results. Well, here's the coffee Darren sent me. It's called avocado coffee. Avocado means medium sweet in Italian. It's a Honduran... SHG bean infused before roasting with a Merlot wine. SHB, S -S, pardon me, SHG means strictly high grown, and these coffees are generally considered better due to being grown at higher altitudes. If for no other reason, pests that would encourage the use of insecticides are fewer higher up. The climate is, again, this is a generalization, better for coffee higher up. Honduran coffee beans used to be frequently grown in Honduras and then transported to Guatemala to take advantage of Guatemala's better-known image as a high-end coffee producer. Well, that changed recently as taxis levied on the beans make it less economical to do this uh, rebranding. Anyway, Darren takes uh, his high-grown Honduran coffee and roasts it in a crafter's artesian 6M, uh, that's, a, that's a, uh, uh, an air coffee roaster, uh, to a light roast. It fooled me at first because, uh, I don't know if we can get a shot of this, Mike, uh, if it's easy, but if you look at these beans, can we, is, this a, is this a, oh, there you go, thank you. Wow, that's great, that's just like downtown. <laughs> if you can see it, uh, it's well into the, there's no oils really, I mean, not super, Maybe a little. Not that dark, though, uh, but well into first crack, according to my observation. Again, uh, maybe even a little into second crack. However, not Pete's or Starbucks, uh, what used to be called a Vienna roast. Apparently, that's really the infusion showing itself. Uh, note, the alcohol in wine is really completely removed during the roasting. Uh, I know people worry about that a lot. I've heard that a lot about uh, concerns about decaffeination, too. Uh, if, uh, ro coffee's roasted at, at 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's, there's no, uh, there's no, none of this would be remaining uh, as far as any kind of uh, concerns. Okay, I happen to be uh, testing three coffee makers at once uh, the French press was originally what I had, had chosen. I thought about it and I said, you know, I'm going to have a lot going on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this, uh, this drip maker, which is, which is already, uh, I, I owe a review on it. I'm still working on uh, editing the review, but it's, it's, uh, it's really done well. So I'm very confident to use it. Um, let me say this is, uh, this is an aromatic coffee, a very aromatic coffee. Uh, uh, and uh, when I first uh, tasted this, it was a, uh, I really thought it was uh, an Indian coffee that I'd had once. And uh, yeah, it's brewing fine. Um, anyway, quite a nice memory. 
although uh, I'd forgotten that uh, Darren uh, said that he was sending me uh, this coffee. It was great. Uh, having a bad memory really works out well for me sometimes. It's because I forget what people tell me. It's kind of like um, someone telling you the end of a mystery film and you see the film and you're fine because you don't remember what they told you. Uh, Darren recommended it with a uh, decadent chocolate cake or a chocolate souffle. Uh, I agree with them. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, pigeonholed a dessert coffee, not a breakfast blend. So let me, uh, let me try it uh, in just a second. Uh, uh, any good coffee should work anywhere you enjoy coffee. So I, I'm, uh, even though I typically uh, tend towards lighter roasts in the morning, I suppose it's kind of the uh, uh, wine make uh, wine drinkers uh, philosophy of uh, going from a lighter wine to a heavier wine. Um, I, I frequently uh, mix it up a little bit. And uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see what this is going to be like. Uh, let me get this out of the way, and that's just a sure thing I'm going to knock that over, isn't it? And everyone wants uh, coffee today. By the way, let's get a shot of this just to show you. Uh, isn't that, oh, which, which, which mic, oh, which camera? I'll point it at this one. You got that mic? Is that, is that the wrong camera or the right camera to point? Yeah, look at that. That's just a, a look at how nicely all the uh, grounds are. This is a one of the that's one reason this coffee maker I'm so pleased with it uh, the brim okay and uh, let's see the one thing I didn't do I'll just put this down here there we go it'll be safe there uh, and then let's uh, let's let's have some coffee and I'll I'll uh, I will keep this here because you can't drink it until after the show anyway. So I will have mine first. Forgive me, folks. For uh... mm. Wow. <sighs> well, anyway, although he's um, made this infusion with a Honduras coffee and a red wine, a Merlot, he says uh, he previously used Kenya coffee. And when we last spoke, he was planning to use a white wine for some coffee. Uh Darren has a relatively young roasting business. It's called Kraken, named for, he told me, Kraken, the mythical sea creature. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, he told me he's going to uh, use marketing slogans like Get Kraken, which will, of course, be lost on 99% of uh, his market, but who has no idea that there's any mythical sea beast uh, like that. But... Um, I used to work with a lot of IT folks. Um, they they may know I uh, I, I uh, and they drink coffee. So I'll have to ask my son who's in IT if I can ever reach him uh, when he's not gaming. So uh, I would just want to say Darren is Darren Eddie. I'm going to take a sip and tell you this. It's a really nice coffee. I, 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 I'm sure I actually haven't had the Honduras by itself. I'm sure, yes, the answer to the obvious question is, would I like the coffee as much as a Honduras? I probably would. I mean, there are a lot of great coffees uh, that I've had recently from Honduras. It's a, certainly a growing region in the same way Costa Rica, you know, used to be uh, known, uh, <laughs> much better known for uh, for. Um, incorrectly, shall we say, labeled uh, Kona coffees, uh, that uh, Costa Rica was a, a substitute coffee that was used in many Konas. In fact, they even had a small business shipping uh, Costa Rican coffees to Kona and uh, relabeling them and uh, into Kona bags and then uh, shipping them in as Konas and charging a lot more for them. Uh, but it, it uh, while it uh, ultimately hurt uh, the Kona business a little bit uh, because no one... Well, people stop believing the word Kona on coffee, rightfully. Um, the uh, Costa Rican coffee business really helped, was helped by it because people realized what a great coffee Costa Ricans are. Oh, wonderful. Well, Darren, you are an artist. Thank you. Uh, coffee Con is coming to the Chicago area on October 10th and 11th, 2020. That's this year. Uh, we'll be at the IBEW building in Warrenville, which is near the intersection of where I-88 and I-355 west of Chicago come together. Uh, 
it's easy to reach uh, for t- two reasons. It's easy to reach still from the city. Um, you can even take a train to Naperville or uh, Winfield and, uh, and get over, Uber over. Um, it's also uh, easy to reach from the rest of the state and the surrounding states. Uh, I'm hoping we'll have other Midwest roasters there. We did last year, and uh, I was uh, very happy uh, with the uh, turnout. Uh, so, uh, and the people are a dream to work with. It's an electrician's college, so it's very, uh, very much a, uh, a place that is uh, well qualified to uh, host a, a coffee uh, event. Mm. We have a 10,000 square foot tasting area. Uh, 20 or more roasters will be offering ongoing craft brewed samples and rare coffees. Various brewing methods will be demonstrated. Um, we have classes on all the brewing methods, latte art, home roasting, and even how to host a cupping party class, which has become quite popular. Uh, tickets will be available soon. Please hit like, and uh, or don't like, and subscribe. Uh, if uh, you really like what we're doing here, I ask you to support us by clicking on the patron link down below, and uh, it's a clean way to make uh, to your voice known and support uh, the likely highly unpro- unprofitable coffee uh, crazy obsessives who devote their lives to obscure arts like I do. And with that said, uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, this is this is really fun. I I, uh, I don't know if uh, Darren's up and ready for business yet uh, to sell this, but um, uh, we'll we'll have to post a link uh, to his uh, website and uh, after I check with him and see if that's okay. And then. Uh, but I really, uh, I think this is really a fun cup of coffee. At any rate, I'm Coffee Kevin. See you soon.